In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your phone number for iMessage and FaceTime. We all know how crucial it is to keep our contact information up to date, especially when it comes to communicating seamlessly with friends, family and colleagues. So let's walk through the process step by step, ensuring that your messages and FaceTime calls are coming through to your new number without any hiccups. First things first, you'll want to insert your new SIM card that holds your updated phone number. After ensuring it's securely in place, go ahead and power on your phone. It might take a moment for the device to recognize the new SIM card, so be patient and wait until you see network bars. Next, we'll dive into the settings on your device. Head over to settings, then scroll down and tap on apps, followed by messages. Here, you'll see the option to toggle iMessage off. It's important to fully switch it off and give it a moment before turning it back on. This action helps reset the app's registration with the new number you've just inserted. Moving along, we'll perform the same routine with FaceTime. Still in settings, find apps again, and then tap on FaceTime. Just like with iMessage, you want to toggle it off first, pause briefly, then switch it back on. This ensures that FaceTime acknowledges the changes to your phone number, effectively syncing everything as it should. After you've toggled both iMessage and FaceTime, the next step is to sit tight and allow some time for activation. It doesn't usually take too long, but patience here is key. Once activated, take a look under the send and receive section in both iMessage and FaceTime. Your new number should ideally appear there, showing that the transition has been successful. However, if you find that your number still isn't showing up, don't worry. You can manually take control and make sure your new number is set to be reached at. Simply tap on send and receive within either app. From here, you can select your new number to ensure it's working both for texts and FaceTime calls. And there you have it. Just like that, your phone number for both iMessage and FaceTime should be fully updated. This simple process helps you stay connected without missing a beat. I hope you found these instructions clear and helpful. If you run into any issues, feel free to revisit these steps or consult your device's support documentation for further assistance. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day staying in seamless communication with your updated contact information.